Imagine waking up one morning to find that some of the world's most iconic historical sites, places that have stood the test of time for centuries, are suddenly crumbling, eroding, or disappearing altogether. This isn't the plot of a dystopian novel. It's a reality we're rapidly approaching due to the relentless march of climate change. Today, on ARC Discoveries, we're diving deep into the profound impact of climate change on preserving historical sites, unveiling the latest research, and exploring what we can do to protect our shared heritage before it's too late. Climate change is no longer a distant threat. It's here, and it's wreaking havoc in ways we might not immediately see. Historical sites around the world are like time capsules, offering us a glimpse into the past and teaching us about the human journey. Yet, as global temperatures rise, these irreplaceable treasures face unprecedented risks. Take Venice, for example. Known as the City of Water, Venice has been grappling with rising sea levels for years. But recent studies indicate that the situation is more dire than previously thought. With sea levels rising at an accelerating rate due to melting polar ice caps and thermal expansion, Venice experiences flooding more frequently and severely. The city's intricate canal system, a marvel of engineering from centuries ago, is now its greatest vulnerability. Saint Mark's Basilica, a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture, has been flooded multiple times in recent years, each event causing more damage and accelerating the wear and tear on this ancient structure. Saltwater intrusion is eroding the brickwork and causing wooden foundations to rot. Venice isn't alone. Across the globe, we see similar stories unfolding. In the ancient city of Alexandria, Egypt, rising sea levels and coastal erosion are encroaching upon the city's historic districts. The famed Pharaoh's Lighthouse, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, may be lost to the sea forever if current trends continue. The salt water is not only physically eroding these structures, but also damaging the integrity of ancient artifacts housed within them. In the heart of South America, Machu Picchu, the awe-inspiring Incan citadel nestled high in the Andes Mountains, faces its own set of challenges. While Machu Picchu isn't at risk from rising sea levels, it's vulnerable to the increasing frequency of extreme weather events. Torrential rains and landslides are becoming more common, threatening to dislodge this archaeological wonder from its precarious perch. The heavy rains are not only causing landslides, but are also leading to severe erosion of the site's ancient stonework. UNASCO has raised concerns about the sustainability of tourist traffic, which combined with natural weathering, accelerates the degradation of this marvel. And let's not forget the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. While not a historical site in the traditional sense, the reef is a living testament to the history of marine life on Earth. Rising sea temperatures and ocean acidification, both consequences of climate change, are causing widespread coral bleaching. This bleaching is devastating marine biodiversity and disrupting the delicate balance of this underwater ecosystem. The Great Barrier Reef has lost more than half of its coral since 1995, and scientists warn that if current trends continue, this natural wonder could be irreparably damaged within our lifetime. So, what exactly is causing these dramatic changes? At the core of the issue is the increase in greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. The burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial activities have all contributed to the rapid rise in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. These gases trap heat in the atmosphere, leading to global warming. As the planet warms, ice caps melt, sea levels rise, and weather patterns become more erratic and extreme. One might wonder, with such a clear and present danger, what is being done to protect these historical treasures? The truth is, while there are efforts underway, they often face significant challenges. Preservationists and scientists are racing against time to develop strategies to safeguard these sites, but funding, political will, and the sheer scale of the problem pose substantial hurdles. In Venice, engineers have constructed a series of massive floodgates known as the MOSA project to protect the city from high tides. These gates can be raised to block incoming water during extreme high tides, reducing the frequency of flooding in the city. However, this is a temporary measure, and concerns remain about its long-term efficacy given the projected rise in sea levels. In Egypt, there are efforts to bolster coastal defenses around Alexandria. 
including constructing seawalls and restoring natural barriers like sand dunes and mangrove forests. These measures aim to slow down the rate of coastal erosion and protect inland areas from the encroaching sea. However, such interventions require significant investment and continuous maintenance, which can be challenging for a country with limited resources. At Machu Picchu, authorities have implemented strict regulations to limit the number of tourists and control their movement within the site. There are also ongoing projects to stabilize the terrain and prevent landslides. This involves sophisticated engineering techniques, such as installing drainage systems to manage water runoff and reinforcing slopes with vegetation to reduce erosion. Protecting the Great Barrier Reef is perhaps the most complex challenge. Scientists are exploring innovative methods to enhance the reef's resilience, such as breeding heat-resistant corals and restoring damaged sections with coral transplants. Efforts are also underway to reduce local stressors like water pollution and overfishing, which can exacerbate the effects of climate change. However, these measures alone won't be enough unless we address the root cause of the problem, global carbon emissions. As we delve into the specifics of these preservation efforts, it's crucial to understand that protecting our historical sites from climate change isn't just about saving bricks and mortar or beautiful landscape. It's about preserving our collective memory and cultural identity. These sites tell the story of human civilization, our achievements, our failures, and our resilience. Losing them would mean losing a part of ourselves. So what can we do as individuals to contribute to this cause? First and foremost, raising awareness is key. By understanding the impact of climate change on historical sites and spreading the word, we can create a collective consciousness that drives action. Supporting policies and initiatives that aim to reduce carbon emissions is also vital. This includes advocating for renewable energy sources, supporting reforestation projects, and promoting sustainable practices in our daily lives. Additionally, supporting organizations dedicated to the preservation of historical sites can make a significant difference. Many of these organizations rely on donations and volunteer efforts to carry out their work. By contributing our time, resources, or expertise, we can help ensure that these efforts continue and expand. Education plays a crucial role as well. By educating ourselves and future generations about the importance of historical preservation and the impacts of climate change, we can foster a sense of responsibility and stewardship. Schools, universities, and community organizations can play a pivotal role in this educational mission. Finally, embracing sustainable tourism can help protect these sites. As tourists, we should be mindful of our impact on the places we visit. This means following guidelines, respecting restrictions, and choosing eco-friendly travel options whenever possible. Sustainable tourism not only helps preserve the sites, but also supports local economies in a way that minimizes environmental impact. In conclusion, the impact of climate change on preserving historical sites is a pressing issue that demands our immediate attention. The stories and lessons encapsulated in these sites are invaluable, offering us a window into our past and a guide for our future. By taking action today, we can ensure that these treasures endure for generations to come, continuing to inspire, educate, and connect us to our shared human heritage. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time and climate. Remember, every small action counts when it comes to preserving our history. If you found this video insightful, please share it with others and help spread the message. Together, we can make a difference. Until next time, stay curious and stay committed to discovering and preserving them.